welcome aboard everybody here we go with another video this is gonna be a simple lemon chicken and asparagus recipe i've never done it before we're gonna be making it for the first time so let's see how it goes we're gonna need chicken bread chicken bread okay i bought this but i'm gonna slice them because they are way too thick so i'm gonna slice them and also, we're gonna need flour. We're gonna need one fourth cup of flour. Um, approximately half a teaspoon of salt. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken bread. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And one fourth teaspoon of, of garlic powder. Um, three tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning two lemon sliced and a bunch of asparagus asparagus and one fourth teaspoon of red pepper i'm just gonna add this just wing it i'm not gonna measure it I'm not going to measure the lemon pepper seasoning either. I'm not going to measure the garlic either. The salt, uh -uh, I'm not going to measure. I don't like too much salt. Pepper, I'm not going to measure. Butter, I'm not going to measure. And basically, I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to go ahead and add it. But anyway, if you want to do it by measurements, you have the measurements there. So let me go ahead and wash the chicken and slice it wing it okay so this is how i slice the the chicken This one I did it in three. I sliced it in three. So we're gonna go ahead now. Got that out of the way. We're gonna clean here because we don't wanna get sick. Okay, so I'm also gonna go ahead and take out the asparagus and wash them. Wash all the asparagus. Okay, the asparagus are washed. Now I'm going to put them here on a plate with a paper towel so they absorb the moisture a little bit. I'm going to put them to the side. Okay, I said I wasn't going to measure anything, but I am going to measure the flour. Okay, I don't want to put too much flour or too little. So I am going to measure it and it's one fourth cup of flour. That's one fourth cup of flour measure okay so in a shallow bowl like this one or something like it go ahead and put your one fourth cup of flour salt salt that should be good if i need more i'll add some later garlic powder I love garlic so I'm gonna add a lot of that and the pepper I love pepper Make sure they're 
covered, all of them. Make sure that they're all covered well with this mixture. They're all covered, completely covered with a mixture of the pepper, garlic, and salt. to the side for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, so now we're gonna heat this pan and we're gonna put some butter in there. I would say that this might taste better if you baste it maybe like the day before. I didn't, as you can tell, I did not baste it, baste it the day before. So, the recipe does not mention preparing it the day before or anything like that, so it should be good. So we're gonna add that much butter. Okay, so let's go ahead before this butter uh, burns. Let's add the chicken. Let them brown on one side. I'm gonna add the lemon pepper. And the red flakes. Add a little bit more butter. And I'm going to lower the heat to medium. I'm also gonna add lemon. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon over. Okay, 
tradicional e artesanal. Very easy. Not too many ingredients. But you can add whatever else you like. Now we're gonna add the asparagus on here. Okay, so so I added a little bit more butter. I had to cut the the asparagus, just cut them a little bit. They were way too big for the pan. So now I added more butter and now I'm waiting for them to turn bright green. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt to them. And lemon pepper. Lemon pepper too. Just a little bit. So once the asparagus are like bright, bright green, that's when you take them out. Some of them are already bright, bright green. And I have the stove on medium heat. Medium heat. I cut the lemon in wedges and now we're gonna Put them here at the bottom. Please. Yeah, we're gonna take all that bottom gravy with a lemon. And hopefully they'll brown evenly. So this is okay, so that's what they should look like. So let's turn this off. So now we're gonna spare this first on the plate. are finished we are ready to eat a crazy salad to go with our simple asparagus lemon chicken okay so we're gonna taste this masterpiece we're gonna see how it tastes can't wait oh let me get some of the salad some of the caprese salad in small plates. I don't know why I got used to eating in small plates. It's very flavorful. Is it really? Yeah. 
He said it's good, very flavorful. That's good. Chicken is cooked good. Chicken is nice and juicy. Yeah, it's cooked really good and it's nice and juicy. That's because of the lemon. Mmm. It's kind of spicy, but it's very good. Very good flavor. And the asparagus are cooked to perfection. Not too tough, not too soft. Still crunchy, and juicy. And the caprese salad, like Ivan said before, is very good too. But that's another video. The butter and the lemon gives it a good flavor. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll be having some more videos for you. Hope you come back and see us again. Bye-bye. God bless.